What's the best ride at Islands of Adventure? Today, we're gonna rank them all. Today, we're ranking all of the rides at Universal's Islands of Adventure. We're gonna battle the heavyweights, Velocicoaster versus Hagrid's. We're gonna look at all the rides from Seuss Landing, Marvel, even Toon Lagoon, and you know, Lost Continent too. So we're looking at all the different rides. Let us know if you agree or disagree. Go grab some every flavored beans, maybe a churro if you're at the park. Mm -hmm. Let's get to ranking. So how the ranking is gonna work. We have five tiers. We have love, like, just okay, nothing special, and loathe entirely. Things we're not gonna include are like meet and greets, a Velociraptor encounter, and unfortunately, we're gonna not include the Hogwarts Express. Nope. We determined the Hogwarts Express is more of a park-to-park -park transportation and not a ride in and of itself. It's a ride, but this is as if you're only at Islands of Adventure. Only Just at so Islands. we're clear. Enough chit chat, let's get to ranking. Let's start with one that's kind of that hybrid of, is it a ride, is it an experience in Poseidon's Fury? Not a big fan. <laughs> It's very interesting. Starting strong. <laughs> it's an interesting concept. Water tunnel's cool. There are some cool special effects, but it's not our favorites. Maybe I had too much anticipation built up while it was closed for refurb, but like I really had higher hopes. I guess I would throw up a science fury and just nothing special. I might go one step further. Yeah? Into the loathe entirely. It strikes me as a very 1990s special effects. Power Ranger sort of idea. I guess that's a good point. That gives us a baseline of what we loathe, so we can put it down there. Also, just to note, what we'll do for this ranking is let's just go through and put everything mm -hmm. in a category, mm -hmm. and then from there we can organize okay. them. Okay. Sounds good? Science Fury. Loathe entirely. Next on the list, Jurassic Park oh. River Adventure. We're starting strong. This one, I love. I grew up with Jurassic Park, obviously, Dino DNA. I love dinosaurs, I love Jurassic Park. So having that Jurassic Park aspect in the theme park is great, but those crooked neck of Mosauruses <laughs> are real in Jurassic Park River Adventure. Jurassic Park River Adventure is a ride that I remember as a kid seeing on Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. I wanna do that as they're saying like, win a free trip to Universal, wee boo 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 boo. And then they go, they go down the ride and mm -hmm. splash and scream, splash, laugh, right? But yeah, the first time I wrote it, I'm like, that ride is just as old as mm -hmm. when I was watching those as a child. And so with that, I go, it's just okay. It's fun. Mm -hmm. It's a ride to do. Definitely a ride to do. But universal. It needs Those some, dinosaurs it needs are ancient. It Let's get some fresh dinos I in I think here. what hurts even more is you see how cool Hollywood and Beijing are. Yeah. And you're like, that's Jurassic World. It's not Jurassic Park. But they are super cool rides. And I, I think it needs redone at this point. I would say as of today, just okay. it's just okay. Next up, let's do Kong. Unpopular opinion, we enjoy Kong. I don't think it's that unpopular of an opinion. I think it's a There are a, a lot ride. of people that do not like Kong. If you don't like Kong, please let us know why you don't like Kong. Because we've ridden it a number of times <laughs> and I like that ride a lot. Alternatively to Fast and Furious, a similar ride setup, Kong is leaps and bounds better. I love that while you're on the bus, there's things happening on both sides of you. The giant Kong animatronic at the end is so cool. Cool mm -hmm. when you go past it. I think the thing that we didn't hit on was was even the cues cool. You've got that, yeah. that creepy old spell lady, the native. You got that weird bug thing. If it's an extended cue. If it's an yeah. extended cue. So I think Kong is definitely a, one of those rides that we are gonna ride every single time that we go to the parks. Mm -hmm. So I agree with the like category for Kong. Let's rank Cat in the Hat. A little Seuss Landing. A little Seuss Landing. Seuss Landing's fantastic. Just as a, as a whole land in itself, Seuss Landing's great. Yeah, and that's all right. It, this is a little creepy. If you work at Universal, do you ever have to go through Cat in a Hat at night when Ooh. nobody else is around? Because uh -huh. those animatronics creep me out a little bit by themselves, mm -hmm. let alone like if nobody else is around. I think the building that Cat in the Hat is in is, is super creative that you're actually in the hat of the cat in the hat, if you will. In the hat. In the hat. It's nostalgic because like we grew up with Cat in the Hat, reading yep. Cat in the Hat. Yep, yep. And so being able to go on the ride and see that kind of come to life, it's in the feels. It's not my favorite Seuss ride. No. I think it's an okay ride. I'd agree with that. Let's 
hit a heavyweight in Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Such a good ride. Such an excellent cue. Arguably the best Harry Potter cue. The most Harry Potter ride. The, the most world. Harry Potter of Harry Potter mm -hmm. rides. And the first Harry Potter ride that was mm -hmm. there. So Forbidden Journey, I think I love Forbidden Journey mm -hmm. because of the parts that probably make you feel queasy. Yep. I lean into them. Sure. I love it. I want to feel like I'm flying as mm -hmm. much as possible. And I just think in general, the way the ride is made is absolutely amazing. And so with that, I think Harry Potter is a love category ride. I'd agree with that. I love it and I get motion sick on it. Love. Harry Potter. Love Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Yes. All right, how about your personal favorite, Doctor Doom? Love, not even debating no. this. Love, no. Love, no. Love, no. Love. Just okay. <laughs> Just okay. <laughs> Just okay. Personally, I'm giving you something because I would put it in nothing special. Like you've seen Doom style rides in so many other places. Been there, done that. That feeling you get of when you just get launched up in the air and then it does have good views, especially if you get it the seats overlooking the park. Am I gonna wait a long time for it? No. no, I'm not. I think it's fun. It's a unique ride to Islands of Adventure, to Universal as a whole. I, I like it. I love riding Doom. So if you wanna ride Doom with me, I won't really ride it with me anymore. So if you wanna ride Doom with me, let me know. He's all yours, folks. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I'll compromise and put it in the just okay category. I feel like I'm giving you a mile. <laughs> Could be in the love category. Could be in the nothing special, close to low the entire time. It's really in the love category. All right, I think this one is a no brainer. Velocicoaster. Love. <laughs> Done. Done. Enough said, Mike drop. Yep, best roller coaster. We'll see you in the next video. Now, I think there's an argument, we'll get to it, I'm sure, of between Velocicoaster and Hagrid's, but Velocicoaster, 70 miles an hour, top hat, Mosasaurus roll, over the lagoon, great cue, smooth ride. Like it's 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 a juggernaut. You you can't really beat it in terms of a roller coaster. Universal knew what they were doing mm -hmm. when they planned out and implemented Velocicoaster. Mm -hmm. Universal, great job. Velocicoaster is spectacular. Mm -hmm. I look forward to more and more roller coasters like that in the future. How about a fun one? Hippogriff. Again, mm -hmm. in that Harry Potter idea, great animatronic in Buckbeak. That... When when and where do you ever get to see Buckbeak? Ever. 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 I mean, you do see him on Hogwarts Express, but we're not ranking that. But the animatronic for Buckbeak is great. It, yeah, you are you are in like reaching distance mm -hmm. of Buckbeak. It offers great views of Hogsmeade, great views of the castle, especially mm -hmm. at night. Mm -hmm. It's a smooth ride. It's a kiddie coaster so kids can go on it. I'm not waiting a whole heck of a lot of time for it, but it's nice that Islands has a kiddie coaster like that. For me, between the theming, the animatronic, and the overall ride experience, I'm, I'm probably gonna give it the just okay. I'm not gonna put it in the light category because the love and the light categories, we're gonna try and ride every single time we go. Yeah. If we get to it, we get to it. If we don't, we don't. So yeah. for me, that, that dictates a just okay. I would agree with you. Cause I also think again, like and love, we have to do that every single time. But I don't think flight of the hippogriff, mm -hmm. it's, it does not get close to the nothing special category. No. Like it, it no. doesn't fall to that. No. So I think it happily can sit in just okay. Mm -hmm. Let's talk some water rides. Ooh. Your favorite. Okay. Dudley Do-Right, Ripsaw Falls. I think Dudley Do-Right is the better of the two water coasters in Toon Lagoon. It is not. It is. <laughs> I like a log flume ride. It might be a little awkward seating arrangement with Ripsaw Falls. Espe oh gosh, what if you're kind not going with a group of yeah, people you know? Yeah, like... some strangers gets a little strange, but <laughs> the drops are fun. You will get wet. However, I'm probably not wanting to ride them in the winter. I struggle to put it in the just okay category, so I'm probably gonna put it in the nothing special category. Simply do because I'm never gonna put a water ride in the just okay category because you, can, you don't really wanna ride it in the winter, nor do I wanna walk around the parks all wet. I am not a log plume ride person, never have been. I don't think I ever will be. It's not that I won't go on them, they just, they're a lot of weight mm -hmm. for very little ride. Like you said, you have to sit awkwardly with a group of people. Mm -hmm. It's a very slow paced ride until one particular point when you drop, mm -hmm. and I don't personally like that drop. I would rather spin in circles, 
then drop a significant. You'd love the spins. Yeah, I'd, ra I'd rather do other things than drop like that. But I don't think you're gonna put it in the low entirely either. No, it's just nothing special. And hue is not good. It's not. It's boring. Now, again, go on it and see for yourself. Mm. Don't just take our word for it. You might fall in love with it. Yeah. I would say Dudley Do Right is nothing special. Agreed. While we're here, we might as well just do the other water ride. Popeyes. Popeyes. Much better than Dudley Do Right. I don't like the ride as much as Ripsaw Falls. What does Popeyes not have that you're looking for? I like roller coaster aspects. Is it like? I like a log flume ride. It's 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 there's something about it that just is like an homage to like bygone eras of like this was riding down a, a, in a boat in some rapids. Popeyes is like riding in a boat with some rapids. <laughs> you get absolutely soaked on Popeyes. Yes. Though, which I guess is the point of a water ride. Yes. But Popeyes is way more fun. It's like it spins, so you never know if you're gonna be backwards or if you're gonna be forwards or like, and you're with a large group of people and somehow in that group you bond with them so well. You do. Like immediately, you all are in it together. You're in it together and you can And you talk know the person across and you're from like, you. You're about to get soaked. Oh, and ah, like, it's just so funny how all of a sudden this group of, I don't know, 10 people at once. Yeah like are just so in it and feel for one another, mm -hmm. especially as you go under a waterfall and mm -hmm. they get covered and these people don't, or the wave comes over the top mm -hmm. of people and all of a sudden they're just completely head to toe done mm -hmm. for the day. And so you said you would never put a water ride in anything higher than nothing special, but I would put Popeyes in the just okay category. I will probably still hold that I will not put a water ride in the just okay category, but I can get behind the idea of like that bonding experience that you have with your other riders. I guess for that aspect alone, not the fact that it's a water ride, we can put it in the just okay category. Final That's answer. Final answer, just okay. One more water. One more water ride. Kind of. Okay. One fish, two fish. Ooh, the Dumbo with water. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to actually really enjoy it when we wrote it because you were I like getting in charge yourself. of the controls and I didn't get to do anything and just got covered in water. For people that don't know, it's a kind of a spinning Dumbo, Dumbo. ride yeah. that you can go up and down. In Kang and Kodos, Kang if you've Kodos, been over in the studio in side, the studios. but there's water. There's water. And if you listen and manipulate accordingly, you don't have to get covered with water. I don't see why you wouldn't. Because you don't want to get covered with water. Then don't go on it. Killing me smells. <laughs> I'll still hold the same adage. I don't think a water ride should go into anything above nothing special, but I think that Ripsaw Falls and Popeyes are better water rides than One Fish, Two Fish. So I'm going to still put kid focus. One Fish, Two Fish in the nothing special category. That's fine with me. No arguments there. I, I'm not jumping. Out of there. my shoes yeah. to go ride one fish, two fish. It's nothing special. That makes it sound so sad because one fish, two fish is pretty it's cute. cute. It's pretty cute. And I love the rhymes. Like, okay. all right, let's do another good one. Okay. Spider Man. Ooh. Spider Man's solid. Spider Man is a very solid ride. It's a similar to Transformers in that it's a dark ride in Simulator. Much better than Transformers. It is much better than Transformers. Megatron. Before we ever rode Spider-Man, I didn't have high hopes for it. No. I didn't think that it was gonna be that great. I was like, just convinced that this ride's gonna be crap. <laughs> I'm not a comic book person when it comes to Marvel, mm -hmm. but Marvel has grown on me significantly. And then we rode Spider-Man and I was like, that was great. Mm -hmm. They did a great job with the story. They did a great job with the queue. They, it's 3D, mm -hmm. somebody doesn't get sick yeah. on this one, which was amazing. Like. I couldn't believe that you mm -hmm. didn't get sick. And you just feel like you're in it. Not to mention like the little Stanley Easter egg, yeah, so cool. I think Spider-Man is a heavy contender in the like category. Very heavy. I'm not gonna put it quite in the love category because I'm not willing to wait a significant amount of time. And by significant, no. I'm probably not gonna wait over 45 minutes. Yeah, 40. yeah. And the, and the ride times do get up there mm -hmm. for Spider-Man at times. That you can get long. So if it's long, I'm gonna pass it by, which yeah. makes it fall to the light category. Am I gonna ride it while we're there? Yes, but I'm definitely going to time it that I don't have to wait a significant amount of time. Totally in the light category though, for sure. 
Let's finish Jurassic Park and do Pteranodon Flyers. Cue some sad music. Cue sad music. Also, Pteranodon Flyers, because I mispronounce it all the time oh. and call it Pterodon Flyers. Taylor Strickland, this is our plea to you to select us at the next <laughs> Orlando Informer meetup to Please. ride Pteranodon Flyers. We've never been able to at the OI meetups. We've never gotten selected. So hopefully in February, we'll get selected to ride it. I can't give it anything above Loathe entirely because I've never ridden it. We should have made like a category all of its own. It's like never been ridden for that one. But in the meantime, I guess it goes in the very bottom of Loathe entirely because we just don't it's know. It's just too hard to ride. I can't rank it. Taylor, let us on the ride. Please. <laughs> <laughs> let us ride this so we can complete our video. Please. Loathe entirely. We're putting it in the last category because of that. Now that we've gotten past that doozy, let's go to Seuss Landing again. Okay. High in the sky, Seuss mm. Trolley Tree ride. Is a ride that I thoroughly enjoy, as uneventful as it is. You never know what side you're gonna get. But the views, views of the park are, are pretty great. phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It's cute. I don't know how the team members stand up there all day with the music because it would drive me crazy. We've talked to the team members about that before. <laughs> like, how do you put up how with it? Like, they just, we drown, drown it out at some just point. Don't hear it at some point. Yeah. But the views are incredible. It's usually not a super long wait, usually. And I'm probably going to ride it every single time we go. So every for me, single time, huh? It's a lot. Every single time? Every time we go to the park. We do typically ride we it do. every single time, every, at least once. Yeah. So for me, it's got to, it has to go in the light category. I do like it a lot. I also think it's just, it looks so cool to be, mm -hmm. it, it, it is very Susie. Mm -hmm. When you're walking around and there's something coming up around your head, like it, as a kid, I just would have been in awe. It's very interactive too. As you go yeah. through Circus McGurkis and you get to wave mm -hmm. to everybody, like everybody's looking at you as they pass by mm -hmm. and you wave and it's fun. It's not quite as interactive and bonding as like Popeyes, but it's super fun. For the kids, it is a very good kids ride. Mm -hmm. You and I do appreciate a good kid ride here and there mm -hmm. to get off your feet, enjoy some stuff. And we do try to ride it at get least once footage. once a trip. So mm -hmm. like, coming down to the end of them here. Getting there. How about another big banger, the Hulk. Ooh. Speaking of just getting banged your around. head banged around. Yeah. I view it very similar to Rip Ride. I think Hulk is above Rip Ride because of the inversions that are in Hulk. You get the Cobra roll, you get another, mm -hmm. you, get, you get that that loop de loop thing, mm -hmm. whatever the technical term is for that. The music's good since they put the music into the ride. The cue's good. So for me, Hulk goes into the love category because I will wait for Hulk. It is a good roller coaster. Yeah. You will get shook up. You will get shaken. But it's a very, very good fun. roller coaster. Very fun. And you just get just push back into your seat. Mm -hmm. Something I I agree. Love category. Love category. Definitely. Definitely. One of the other big ones. We haven't talked about it yet. Do it. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't think it's a question, but where do you put Hagrid's? So I think we'll get the initial scrub of Hagrid's right off the rip. It's going in the love category. Yeah. We're going to rank them in the category later, but I think we both agree. Hands down, in the love category, there's no question about it. No, it's an excellent roller coaster. It's an excellent queue. Tons of Easter eggs in the queue. Excellent theming. Hagrid's is. Tons of elements. Great. Mm -hmm. Maybe its biggest downfall, it's wait times. If you want to see our strategy, be sure to check out our video for early park admission. We'll put that link in the description so that you can know our strategies yeah. to making sure that you get on Hagrid's. We've got two left. Let's finish. Seuss Landing. The Carousel. The Carousel. I like the Carousel. I think it's so cute. I don't know when carousels like became just such a sweet thing mm -hmm. in my in my brain that I just love them. But the Carousel in particular, I think is one of my favorite carousels ever because of the theming of it. It's super cute. It's a great take on a carousel. It's actually longer than I always anticipate. Mm -hmm. Like you were on that thing for almost like too long in my opinion. I don't I don't mind it. You um, get your full money's worth. 
the creatures are, that are depicted are super cute. Somehow I pick the same one every, every single, single time. Every single time. I don't mean to. It's like a cow, you always pick the cow. He's got big eyelashes. And then Ben gets to have one that's got a bell got a on bell it. On if he's on lucky. I'm just, <laughs> bell. It's not one I'm gonna ride every single time, so I can't put it in the light category. If I miss it, it's okay. But it's I not know. it's not in the same tier as Dudley Do Rights. So for me, it's in the just okay. We'll ride it if it's short. Any Orlando informal, yeah. we're gonna ride it because we don't have to wait for it. Yeah, it's, that's it's fine. It's not a light category. It can go in the just okay because it is. I mean, it's a carousel. It is a carousel, mm -hmm. and you can get on it on a lot of different places. Yeah. The last ride. One of the best rides at Islands of Adventure, I think. No. Storm Force Excelatron. Just no. It's great. Here's our conundrum. Ben loves Doctor Doom. I don't want to go on it. I love Storm Force. He won't go. I he won't go, won't go on it. Not, I will sometimes go on Doom with him. He will not. I will not go on Storm, go on Storm Force, Force with me. So if you want to go on Storm Force with me, let me know. I will say we're gonna You're spin. You're gonna spin. We're gonna spin gonna and we're spin. gonna spin fast. <laughs> Loathe entirely. Really? So here's my reasoning. As you walk through Marvel, are you gonna go to Doom or are you gonna go to Storm Force? You are gonna probably not even know that Storm Force is there. It is. Kind you won't of pushed even know. back. Out you of the won't way. even know Storm Force is there if nobody points it out to you. You put Doctor Doom in the just okay category, so it's gotta fall below nothing special or loathe entirely. I'm not gonna mince words about it. I do not like Storm Force because she likes spitting me till I throw up. <laughs> I just think it's so fun. Get, no. get a little woozy. No, loathe entirely. Can we meet in the middle? If can't be a just okay and you want to loathe entirely, how about a nothing special? It's not as cute as One Fish, Two Fish. It's not as fun as Ripsaw Falls. I would rather go walk through Poseidon's Fury. So it's in the loathe entirely. I don't want to walk through Poseidon's Fury. I feel like I need to get something out of this by negotiating. I'll buy you a churro. Deal. So now that all the rides are in their respective tiers. They could move around for all we know. Let's we, do some rearranging. Let's do some rearranging yeah. and see where they rank within the tiers so we get a top to bottom ranking. So in the bottom tier, we have Poseidon's Fury, Pteranodon Flyers, and Storm Force Accelotron. Right now, Storm Force is in last of last bottom, place, bottom. which it can't be, it cannot be behind a ride we've never ridden. A ride we've never ridden. So that jumps up at least once. I'll agree with that. And you can convince me that it should go above Poseidon's Fury because I don't really care for Poseidon's Fury either. But I do think there are technical aspects in Poseidon's Fury that are very fun. The water tunnel is very cool, very fun to do. But Poseidon's Fury takes a, actually a very long time. Yeah, we went to Poseidon's Fury when it said it was like a 15 minute wait. It was like and a, then we waited like 45 minutes. Yeah. And then we went through the show. We're like, wow, this is long. And then we were like, we were hungry an hour and a half ago. Mm -hmm. So like bring snacks with you if they let you eat those in Poseidon's Fury. Yeah. I don't remember, I but don't remember I don't think you're allowed to, so. but like they were needed. If we're into the loathe, and, loathe entirely category, let's go with the shorter of the loathe entirely and go with Storm Force as number one. I think that's reasonable category. because just because you loathe Storm Force doesn't mean you have to ride it and right. I can still go ride it. And you right. can just stand there and watch and it'll be about done in two minutes. Mm -hmm. Storm Force, if it has to go in loathe entirely, can at least be the number one. Moving up to the nothing special category, we have Dudley Do Rides Ripsaw Falls and One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. Such a cute ride. They're both water rides. One of them you get a lot more wet on. One of them's more fun, more thrilling. You want Dudley Do Right than One Fish, Two Fish? Yes. Even for as boring as the Dudley Do Right queue is. The queue is very boring, but I like, are you gonna say that the One Fish, Two Fish queue is any better? No, but in, in the argument you just uh, threw out there about Poseidon's Fury and Storm Force, arguably One Fish, Two Fish gets done quicker. It does, I won't disagree with that, but the cue for One Fish, Two Fish is outside. And if it's hot, you're in the sun. You are in the sun. Just baking. I still don't think you have to wait as long, but... Sometimes it, get, it does get long, yeah. but at least if I'm waiting for Ripsaw Falls, I'm inside. Yeah, the cue's not that exciting, but I also think Ripsaw Falls is a more exciting ride than One Fish, Two Fish. We can leave them as is. Okay. Dudley Do Right followed by One Fish, Two Fish. All right, we have a big category in Just big Okay. category. Lots to assess here. Right now in Just Okay, we've got Jurassic Park River Adventure, The Cat in the Hat, 
Doctor Doom, Flight of the Hippogriff, Popeyes, and the Carousel. Of those six, which one is your absolute favorite to ride? Doom, because it should be in the love category. But really? <laughs> I think Doom is because, are you gonna rank it above Jurassic Park? Maybe, but it, Jurassic Park needs, needs some love. Are you gonna rank it above Hippogriff? Hippogriff's a kitty coaster. I don't think we can really do that. Yeah, it offers great views, but it's not as good. Cat in the Hat, nostalgic, but creepy. Carousel, nope, not as thrilling. And Popeyes, nope. I don't think it should have been in the just okay category anyway. So yes, I think Doom is the top of the just okay category. Okay, okay. If Universal updated Jurassic Park, mm -hmm. River Adventure, mm -hmm. could that change your mind? Oh, absolutely. Okay, then I'm fine with it just staying how you said, yeah. with Doom being the number one of those. Because I agree, it's hard to think Doom's better mm -hmm. than Jurassic Park River Adventure, but it does need TLC. Mm -hmm. And so with that, I can sleep at night Universal, when you update it, mm -hmm. all will be made well. So then, if we're moving those around, is Jurassic Park River Adventure number two in the Just Okay category to Doctor Doom? Or do the other rides beat it out? I think River Adventure probably stay number two because of the animatronics. Yes, they need some love. Yes, they need some TLC. But that T-Rex right before the drop is mm -hmm. still a very impressive mm -hmm. animatronic. I think Jurassic Park River Adventure easily stay at number two in the Just Okay category. It's going up against some... They're just okay. Meh contenders. They're just okay. It is probably better than Doom if those animatronics in the water are updated. That's what water does to things. We mm -hmm. get it. But that T-Rex at the end, fantastic. Super cool and you don't get nearly as soaked as you do on something like Dudley Do-Right. You still could, you mm -hmm. could, depending on the weight distribution in that boat. So I think it can stay number two. What do you think the number three ranking is? I would move Popeyes. What would you move? I'm probably gonna move up Flight of the Hippogriff. Flight of the Hippogriff, yes, it's a kitty coaster, but it offers, the, like we said, the Buckbeak animatronic. The Buckbeak is Great amazing. views of the castle, great views of Hogsmeade. And it is a relatively short coaster. You're usually not yeah. waiting too, too long for it. And it does offer express pass, which is super handy if it does get busy. It is a very cute roller coaster. Great for that in-between stage of like, they want to do something bigger, mm -hmm. but they're not, They you know, one fish, two fish is a little bit too, too easy, mm -hmm. right? And I still think that Buckbeak animatronic is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I could agree with you. Flight of the Hippogriff moves up a notch mm -hmm. behind Jurassic Park River Adventure. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Cat in the Hat, I think that one should go above Carousel, and so I think it should be next because we have Carousel and Popeyes. When we think of Seuss Landing and the rides in Seuss Landing, which ones are we? We know we're gonna ride. We know we're gonna ride high in the sky. Mm -hmm. And if you were like, "What's the next one that you're gonna ride?" I'm gonna pick Cat in the Hat because of the AC. Because of the AC, <laughs> it's a little more thrilling than Carousel. Ooh. It does spin you a bit. It does spin. Also, if I just picture Seuss Landing, the cat in the hat yeah. stands up. Yeah. It really does. And the Carousel, yes, it is eye-catching, mm -hmm. but that hat, it catches your eye yeah. it, it, quite a bit. It, it defines Seuss Landing. We have two left then. Two left in the Just OK category. Carousel and Popeyes, two very different rides. Mm -hmm. Do you change it and have Carousel followed by Popeyes? You've been ragging on our water ride, so I can see why you would want to move it down. I could possibly be convinced because I also love the Carousel, mm -hmm. and I can happily ride that ride. You would ride it with me. Mm -hmm. We can leave the park not covered, not, not soaked. completely soaked to the bone, mm -hmm. and still Popeyes would still sit in the just okay category and life would be good. I can agree with that. Moving up. Moving up. To the like category. Last two categories like and love i think like's going to be an interesting one to talk through mm -hmm. we have kong spider-man and high in the sky seuss trolley very train very different rides i think the number one question right now is which of these three is the best mm -hmm. of the like category seuss trolley train cute. cute but i think that this conversation really comes down it to really spider-man and kong so which one's better i think we we just solidified that high in the sky is going to be our number three out of three in the yeah. light category. So really the debate is between that one and two. Yep. Very different rides. Kong being the bus style attraction, the trackless, mm -hmm. where you've got a bunch of different things, but does the animatronic of Kong supersede the Spider-Man 
kind of all encompassing. But Spi Spider-Man is screens and some set pieces. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that about mm -hmm. one, of, one of the things that Universal does when they build these types of rides is like, it's not just staring at screens the mm -hmm. whole time and then going on the next screen. Like, you have stuff around you to look at. And the, because of the way that they build it, when you feel like the scoop mobile is falling from the sky, you feel like you are falling. And so I think that is amazing. It is 3D, so depending on how that sits with you, mm -hmm. like that could be a detractor or not. Mm -hmm. But then Kong has the giant Kong animatronic, which is the biggest mm -hmm. animatronic in the park. I can't always rely that the Kong animatronic's working. True. In our experience, Spider-Man has been much more consistent of mm -hmm. an available ride mm -hmm. than Kong. For those who have never been before or who are looking forward to riding Kong for the first time, go ride it. Go ride, go ride it. Go ride it. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, it's in our like and uh, mm -hmm. top categories. Like, we will go ride it. There have been times, though, where that giant animatronic just was out looking for bananas. Mm -hmm. It wasn't working for the day. They had to go find him. And because of that, unexpected few and far between issue, I would choose to put Spider-Man over Kong. Agreed. The top category. The love category. Ooh, absolutely, positively love. We've got Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, mm -hmm. Velocicoaster, Hagrid's, and Hulk. The way I think about it, you really have about two groups of two. Yeah. You've got the top two, which is going to be the argument between <coughs> Velocicoaster and Hagrid's. And then you've got three and four, which is going to be the argument between Forbidden Journey and Hulk. Let's start with Forbidden Journey and Hulk. Okay. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Great building in the fact that it's in the Hogwarts castle. Great queue. Very inventive ride vehicle in the Kuka arm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A great ride of screens and sets. Mm -hmm. However, makes me motion sick. It does. Now Hulk is rough. Hulk is rough and Hulk, they shake Hulk you up. Hulk will beat you up. But we both experience the full length of Hulk. Yes. So I don't I, know, you might brown out a little might bit. Might brown out a little bit. <laughs> but that that's the reason I think Hulk has to be above Forbidden Journey. Now the Harry Potter fans are gonna jump all over us for it, but yeah. we both experienced the entirety of Hulk. I think one of my favorite things about Hulk is when you get off the ride, you're like, Woo, woo, woo. Need a minute. As far as theme park rides go, and which one you're gonna get more oomph out of, I pick Hulk. Mm -hmm. Hulk followed by Forbidden Journey. Now, all in the love category, so we will still always write these. Mm. Oh yeah. No matter what. No matter what. So I really don't have to pick between the two. Mm -hmm. But um, if I'm putting them in order, as far as a, a heck of an experience on a roller coaster, Hulk wins over Forbidden Journey. And now, the battle of the heavyweights. Velocicoaster or Hagrid's. Or Hagrid's. There's gonna be a lot of debate here and a lot of torn households. <laughs> you think so? Oh yeah. They both have excellent cues. Let's start there. So cues is a wash. Cues is a wash. Hagrid's has a ton of Easter eggs. Yes. Tons of nods to the books, to yep. the movies, yep. etc. Velocicoaster, technical masterpiece. Mm -hmm. You've got the, the super cool technical thing of the roller coaster flying by, followed by the raptors. Mm -hmm. Tons of nods to the movies with the books and the raptor training equipment. You've got the animatronics of the raptors in the cages. So, agree, cues is a wash. Mm -hmm. Now, overall ride experience. Hagrid's has a ton of different elements. Mm -hmm. You go backwards, you drop, there's launches, mm -hmm. but there's no inversions. No inversions. That Velocicoaster does have. True. Velocicoaster has launches. Mosasaurus roll, top hat. Exactly. Tons right. of other elements within the ride that Hagrid's is just kind of different. Hagrid's is more, is friendlier. Definitely friendlier. I want to say family friendly, but not for the little kid, mm -mm. you know? Hagrid's is an excellent roller coaster for the kid that wants to start riding real roller coasters. Mm -hmm. It's a good experience. It's a, it's a very good experience and it tells a story. I will say something that bugs me about Hagrid's, they could have done a better job of Fluffy. Mm -hmm. A positive for a Velocicoaster is it it is a people eater. Mm -hmm. And so even when the Figurative. line- Figuratively. And if the line gets long, mm -hmm you know still they're gonna be busting yep. through and it is just eating the crowds. It goes through, I think we had a number at one point and I don't it's remember. It's like 1,200 people an hour. An hour, yeah. which is just crazy, amazing. 
So I think that's a perk on the Velocicoaster side, specifically since neither of these have Express Pass as they are newer. I know which one is my number one. What like Velocicoaster is the best ride in Islands of Adventure. It's definitely the most thrilling. And, I, and I'm gonna agree. I think Velocicoaster is the most thrilling. If the queues are the wash, then you're, you're really down to wait times. And Velocicoaster getting through numbers of people, I think does play. So how we'd apply and use these categories, we'd probably ride and always ride when we're at the parks, the love and the like categories. If we get to the just okay, we get to the just okay. We have a lot of time on our hands. <laughs> and if we miss the nothing special or the loathe entirely, that's okay with us. Although people might think of it as like loathe entirely as we never ride them, we highly recommend like ride all of the rides at least one time. That way you can determine your own feelings about the ride mm -hmm. and then make your own ranking. Decide how you feel about it. Maybe your categories line up differently than ours. And if they do differ, let us know in the comments of why you think our rankings are wrong. So to go over these from what we finally decided on. Number one. Velocicoaster. Number two. Hagrid. Number three. Hulk. Number four. Forbidden Journey. Number five. Spider-Man. Number six. Kong. Number seven. High in the Sky Seuss Trolley Train Ride. Number eight. Doctor Doom. Number nine. Jurassic Park River Adventure. 10. Flight of the Hippogriff. 11. Cat in the Hat. 12. Carousel. 13. Popeyes. 14. Dudley Do Right Rips Off Falls. 15. One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. 16. Storm Force. <laughs> 17. Poseidon's Fury. And 18. Taylor Strickland, we've never ridden it. So, Pteranodon Flyers. If you got something out of this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stick around for more universal content. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.